Sometimes you need to break the egg to make an omelette. This truth applies more than ever in how we live and work in the digital age. In a world where 18,000 young kids fall prey to scammers who exploit their insecurities, where millions of people fall victim to romance scams because they feel lonelier than ever before, and where over 101,000 elderly are left isolated, vulnerable to pension and banking fraud. It is clear that the real pandemic of our time plays out online. It's the rise of scams and fraud that prey on our emotions. But here's the thing, more fear only breeds more fear and defensiveness. It doesn't solve the root cause of the problem. That's why I am offering something different. Instead of fear, I'm offering courage. Instead of defensiveness, I'm offering love. And instead of despair, I'm offering hope for a safer and more secure future. We can't lead this change with fear. We need to transform fear into courage. When we are faced with fear, our response options come from a place of survival, leading to quick fixes that aren't sustainable. Data is already out there. Once on the internet, it's nearly impossible to erase. But what if we change the way we respond to one of the biggest social challenges of the digital age? What if we feel the fear diffused into courage, inspired action, community and love? We can't defeat the darkness with more darkness. It is the light that will pierce through the darkness and shine bright. As Rumi said, one of the greatest poets of all time, the wound is where the light enters. Many are fighting for online safety, demanding justice and pushing for regulation. These efforts are critical and necessary, but they take time, time we don't have. That's why I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission that focuses on harnessing these very emotions that criminals weaponize against us and turning them into a shield. A shield that strengthens our emotional firewalls. As Cyber Awareness Month approaches, I'm launching a campaign like no other to empower every generation to build these emotional firewalls, starting with the most vulnerable among us, our children. Over the next five weeks, you'll learn how emotional intelligence and resilience can arm you with the tools to protect yourself and your loved ones from online harm. Each week will focus on a different generation. The first week will focus on parents and kids to safeguard our youngest from the threats lurking online. The second week will focus on students to help them navigate the pressures of social media and academic stress. The third week will focus on professionals to protect their quality of life and well-being. The fourth week we're focusing on executive leadership to equip them with the mindset needed to manage these risks confidently. And the fifth week will focus on our elderly loved ones to empower them to stay safe and connected without fear. Join me on this journey. Follow my Emotional Firewalls page where I'll be sharing insights and strategies tailored to each generation over the course of the next five weeks. Are you ready to build your emotional firewalls with courage, love and hope? Let's get started.